What's up guys? I thought I'd do an interesting test today. Grok version 3 just came out and I wanted to run it against lead code to see if it could understand the prompt and give me the code and then I could submit the code and then we'll see how well it works. So Grok version 3, according to the XAI team, it, they tested it and supposedly it's overall the best AI out right now. And I'm curious to see how well it works. So you could generate images, so you could say, generate an image of a, I don't know, a Tesla Model Y, for, for example. Or you could say, you know, generate an image of a tree with a mountain in the background in beautiful scenery. So, that is a Tesla Model Y. That's also a Tesla Model Y. I guess it generated two images. And then we'll just do a generate of this just to see how well this works. And while that's generating, this is leak code. So once in a while I use leak code and I basically just, you know, go on there, try to code up a little bit and see how well I can do. So these are by difficulty. So we'll start off real quick with some easy problems and then we'll go with the harder ones. So for example, merge two sorted lists. So let's see, there's actually a picture in this one. So this one's going to be interesting. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm literally just going to highlight everything here. Copy that, go here. By the way, that looks pretty, pretty realistic. I mean, it did a pretty good job of that. So anyways, let's do this. And I am using Grok version 3, as you guys could see. Let's press enter. And it's going to give it to me in Python. So I'm going to say, you know what? Um, can you give me the code in C++ instead? So now it gives me the code in C++. And it kind of explains what it, what it does. So this is how you would use it. And this is, this is probably the, f okay. So this is the class. All right. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go in here. We're gonna, just going to paste it. So the only thing that I copied is here. And then we're going to click run and it says compiler error. So that's no bueno. And, uh, what's the problem here? List node redefinition of list node. Oh, I see. It it already had it defined. Okay. So I, I guess it just defined it again, but I didn't need to define it. And uh, yeah, so I basically just removed that, just left the class and uh, there it is. So it accepted it. So right away, literally wrote the entire code for me and it gave me the whole thing. It gave me the list note as well. And it also, gave me a way I can use it. Granted, they just wanted the function. So let's go back. Let's do, let's do another one. Let's do another easy one. Um, let's do, yeah, you know what? Let's do this Roman to integer. All right. So we're going to copy paste all of this and we're going to paste it here. And now it knows to give it to me in C++, which is like awesome, right? So, and then it tries to explain it. So what we're going to do is we'll just go here, do that. And we're going to hit run and boom, accept it, click submit. And then it accepted. And, uh, we're right here for the solution. So I guess there is a better solution, um, but it is a solution nonetheless. So that was, pretty awesome because the runtime is, I guess it's a little bit slower, but there you can get a solution with less runtime. So I wonder, can you give me another solution that has a better runtime? Oh, it's already big Omega N. So, All right, let's try it. Let's try it again. Let's try this one. 
Oh, because I already submitted this. Let's run this one. Accepted. Let's submit this one. Okay, this one was six, so this one was better. Um, all right, let's jump into let's jump into a medium problem. Let's do a foursome, and uh, so this one will copy everything, and uh, we'll paste it here. Literally, I'm I'm literally just copy pasting this. Okay, so it's already done. It's just explaining what it, what it's doing. So we're gonna copy this, and I can just hit copy right here as well. I'm just doing it the long way in case you guys are wondering. Uh, so let's click run. Okay, accepted. Let's click submit. Okay, so it did a pretty good job with this. So 26 milliseconds. So there are, I guess, there are better solutions, but it's not bad. And let's go to a, let's do a couple hard problems. Let's do merge K sorted lists. So far it's very, very impressive. Now if you guys are interested, I'll do this one with Gemini as well. So I, I have the Gemini subscription as well, uh, in addition to the Grok subscription. And uh, Gemini is very helpful for certain things. I haven't tried it with um, lead code. I have tried it with some coding stuff, but I haven't tried it with lead code. So it accepted this and uh, gave us a really good solution. So one millisecond. So I guess half the solutions submitted are within here. Um, beat 76% of the solution. So very, very good. And uh, let's do another one. And keep in mind, these are hard. This is category uh, hardest. So longest valid parentheses. So we're going here, here, and we'll copy that. I, I'm literally like, this is the easiest thing I could do. I literally just copy paste the problem and it figures it out. And okay, so I hit copy. Let's do paste. Let's click run. Accepted that one. No surprise there. Uh, beat 25% of the solution, so three milliseconds. So uh, there is a better solution, and we could say, uh, can you provide a better solution with a better runtime? I should have said better time complexity, but it's fine. But the, the whole point of this video is that it's AI is very advanced and we're still kind of at the beginning stages of it. So if I were to sit and do this problem, there's no way I could do this in like a couple seconds, basically. This, this would take me uh, some time to sit down and think about it, uh, what I would, pretty much what I would do. So it's still thinking about this one. Um, but it's very impressive. If you guys are interested, I could do one with Gemini. Again, I have access to Gemini Advanced because I, I have the paid subscription for that. And um, Gemini is fantastic for certain things. And Grok is fantastic for other things. Um, but I, I haven't been... Um, Grok version 3 just came out. I was using version 2. And I can give you guys some other ideas with this as well. Some other things you can do. Okay, so let's submit this solution. Let's click run. So that was three milliseconds, beat 25. Okay, this one was one millisecond, beat 38%. So this one was a slightly different solution. It looks like it was more code. Um, the other one I think was using a Q. And I haven't used these data structures in a long time with, with the other one. Push and pull, well, was that a stack? I, ca I can't even remember what that was now. Um, okay, so that's a vector.
anyways all right so there it is grok version 3 is pretty amazing at least at solving lead code questions if you guys enjoyed this video smash that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one